Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing the season 5 finale of The Flash called Legacy. So we start off with uh, Ralph got hit, so he bought the, um, the dagger from being um, blasted. And then, uh, but he got morphed all over and it looks like a big art piece that's very j j uh, jagged and everything. And then um, Cicada to escape. The Cisco is very confused on what to do about Camille and talks to Caitlin about it after they get back to Star Labs. Then Barry found Wood at the crime scene. And then we cut to where Cicada is going to go back in time for Meadows War Meadows. And then we cut to where Wells found out about Dipney's plan and tells the team about what was happening. About Vaughn and the whole dagger thing. So they're trying to figure out what to do now. Then we go to the Flash in the, in the future where the guard is uh, talks Vaughn, Vaughn some more. And then we go back to the present day where Nori gets upset. And then Barry is still going to move forward with the plan, even though that means Thon escaping. He's still going to get rid of the dagger. Then Cisco meets with Camille and comes clean, and she's completely fine with it. <laughs> she's like, okay, that's fine. I understand. And then we get to where Barry and Nora talk. And then, you know, about like how... That's how Barry was when he first started out, and it's not, you know, she's very trusting, which is a good thing. Then we cut to where, um, Caitlin is stuck on trying to fix, um, Dipney. But then, um, Sherlock, uh, says to blast him to set him right, so he gets, uh, Cisco to do that, and it works. Um, his, uh, language is off, but, you know, it's, he's alive, and he's back to... Pretty much his entire self. And so they um, got a wood symbol back. And it's from an, it's Swiss, Swiss Ash. And there's a remote location in the mountains. And so now Nora has a plan. And so, um, but as they're getting closer, they're using Camille as like um, a barometer. And when she goes, starts getting nasty and rude, they know they're close to Grace. So, um, but Grace knew they were coming and meets them, and then, <clears throat> and then basically, um, Vibe teleports her to the containment bubble or sphere or whatever, and keeps her in there, and Nora talks to the coma Grace, but then we have, uh, the other, the adult Grace knocking down the force field, and it's already down to, like, 80%. And so then we cut to where the, uh, so basically in, when Nora is talking to the coma Nora, uh, Grace, the other cicada helps her. So basically you have the cicada that's in her head telling her to destroy all metas. But the other true cicada helps Nora out and tells her that she can do this and, you know, you need to take the cure and everything. Then we cut to her great, the adult Grace breaks the containment and goes back. And then Coma Grace says she'll take the cure and she does, but it has no effects of the metal shard in her head. <clears throat> because the adult Grace goes cray on everybody. And then uh, basically what happens is the uh, dagger um, basically was going to off, he, she was. Adult Grace was going to off Nora. So Barry um, and Cisco they vibed in the device to get rid of it. And then that actually offed Grace, the adult Grace. Then we cut to where uh, Fawn escaped and off the cops, but everything reverses before he can do anything. And Barry and Nora stop him. And she, he tells them everything, like, I did this because of this, and this because of this. And I was like, wow, i never seen these up front before. <laughs> and so they go to race, and then Thon got, um, beat them, but then he got hit with a time ship, and the rest of Team Flash show up. And said something weird about Ralph should be dead by now, which was weird. And then Team Flash goes ham on him and kick his ass. 
and it was great to see. But um, we find out that the new timeline is setting in and that's erasing Norris. So Barry lets Thawne go so he can try to get Norris safe. And they have to use the Nega Force. But Nora pulls out and she decides like she wants to leave. And she, because if she keeps it up, she's going to turn into Thawne and she doesn't want that. So she's, she allowed herself to be erased. You have a crazy emotional scene between um, Barry Iris and Nora as she disappears. Then Sherlock Wells, after they go back to their time, um, he's leaving to go be with um, his girlfriend, which I cannot remember her name. And then we cut to where Singh wants uh, Joe, Barry, and Camille at the station. And then we cut to where Iris uh, sees Nora's journal and breaks down. So everyone else kind of leaves her alone and she saw the journal and break down and cried. Which is actually a very emotional scene too. And we found out uh, that Cisco uh, wants to take the cure and he does. And he left Caitlin something. Then we find out that Singh is leaving to become the mayor of Central City and gives Joe Wes the captain position of the precinct and knows Barry is the Flash. Then we cut to where Barry and Iris talk and it's another emotional moment and then Barry sees a chip in the journal and so Nora left them a message and that was also very emotional and during that we see that Cisco left um Kaylin and Killer Frost a new suit and you can see um Joe adjust into the captain role a little bit and then we cut to the precursor for the next season where the turn the timetable has been sped up and Flash goes missing in 2019 but we don't know when in 2019 so crazy episode and I give this episode a plus it was a crazy episode I thoroughly enjoyed this episode a lot a lot of fight scenes and we get to see the natural progression of some of the characters and I wasn't really expecting Nora to actually leave I was expecting her to be here for a little bit longer so it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with that and if um Iris has a kid next season before Barry goes away. We don't know because they made a comment earlier in the season about the tw that about the twins or something. So that Thaw mentioned. So I don't know how what's going to happen. And um, I just liked the scenes, but it wasn't as much as a gut punch as Arrow was last night. That was a gut punch. The last back half of the episode, I was like, damn. Um, but this one had a lot of strong moments in there. I love the emotional scenes in it, but it didn't have much of a finality as the era finale did because of Felicity not coming back. But anyway, off topic. So overall, I would give this season uh, a strong A. Uh, there was definitely some great moments in there, but there were also some very dumb moments in it. <laughs> but I think overall, it, it was a good uh, season and I thoroughly enjoyed the season. I'll probably watch it again when it's on Netflix in a couple weeks and maybe I'll catch up on whatever season on this season three. <laughs> we'll get there sometime. Um, but anyway that's going to do it for this video so if you like this video please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of the season, do you agree, disagree, uh, what do you think will be more improved, what could be a, an improved on in the next season and just take thoughts down below and suggestions for any other shows. And don't forget to subscribe, help out the channel a lot, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.